Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So Bitcoin is currently at around $87,000 right now. And today I want to explain one of the most important on-chain metrics in Bitcoin called the realized capitalization or the realized cap for short. So what if I told you that the actual average cost basis of all Bitcoin holders, basically another way to estimate you know, what people paid for their coins is actually at about $56,000 right now. And that's 80, that's at around a 35% you know, difference from the price we're at right now. And more importantly, I also want to show another chart called the realized cap drawdowns that historically has been really good at identifying bear market bottoms or bear market lows. And that's essentially because, you know, unlike market cap drawdowns, which can be quite extreme around, you know, 80 to 90 percent, 75 percent, realized cap drawdowns are much more muted. And there's a very specific reason for that, and we'll get into that in, in, in another uh, in, in a little bit. So let's dive into the charts here. So first of all, what is the realized cap? So most people are obviously familiar with Bitcoin's market cap. You know, that's just the the current price multiplied by the total supply, circulating supply of Bitcoin. And so right now, eighty-seven thousand dollars times you know nineteen point eight million coins, the circulating supply. That's about 1.73 trillion dollars in Bitcoin's market cap, but market cap is is kind of misleading uh, for Bitcoin because not everyone paid eighty-seven thousand dollars for their Bitcoin, right? Some people bought at a hundred dollars back in you know, 2011. Some people bought at a thousand dollars. Some people bought at sixty-nine thousand dollars in 2021. Some people bought last week at ninety thousand dollars, right? So realized cap tries to essentially fix this problem or at least look at uh, you know, Bitcoin's valuation in a different sense, right? So instead of valuing every coin at the current price, like market cap does, realized cap values each coin at the price it was last moved on Bitcoin's blockchain since, you know, all transactions are public, right? So for example, if you bought one Bitcoin in 2015 for $300 and you, you haven't moved it from your wallet since, that Bitcoin is valued at $300 in the realized cap calculation, not at the current price, which is $87,000. So, you know, similarly, if you bought one Bitcoin yesterday at $90,000, that's obviously going to be continued to value at, at $90,000 in the calculation. So basically, realized cap shows you the aggregate cost basis of all Bitcoin holders. In other words, I like to think about it as the total real capital that's actually been invested into the network. So if you get, uh, if you divide the realized cap, which is uh, this right here, right? They're currently at sitting at around 1.12 trillion. If you divide that by the total supply, circulating supply, you get, a, you get the realized price, which is currently at $56,000. And so that's the average price that all Bitcoin holders paid for their coins, right? So that gap between the market price, which is $87,000 and the realized price, which is $56,000, that gap tells you on average, you know, how many Bitcoin holders or, or how much Bitcoin uh, is being sit, sat at an unrealized profit. So around 55% of Bitcoin is in an unrealized profit right now. And so you can see on this chart that the realized cap grows much more linearly than the actual market price and that's because it doesn't have uh it, it actually represents you know the average cost base and actual capital flowing into the network over time it's not as you know volatile as the actual price itself so like we talked about the realized cap sits at around 1.12 trillion dollars right now and if you compare that to you know the market cap of 1.72 trillion that difference is the unrealized profit sitting in the network. And so I want to talk about this realized cap drawdown chart because it gets pretty interesting. Uh, so just like we measure you know, price drawdowns or market cap drawdowns, how far the price has fallen from its peak, we can also measure the realized cap drawdown. So this chart basically shows the percentage drawdown of Bitcoin's realized cap from the all-time high of the realized cap. And so the realized cap drawdowns are obviously much smaller than the price drawdown. So in 2019, we had a 17% drawdown from the all-time high of the realized cap. But in the actual you know, market cap drawdowns or, or price drawdowns, we saw a drawdown, a drawdown of 81.68% from the all-time high, about $20,000, right? So 
realized cap obviously only dropped 17% in, in that same period. And during the 2022 bear market, price dropped like 70, what, 77%, 76%, but the realized cap drawdown uh, only went down around 19% from the all-time high. And so why is there such a big difference, right? Because when price crashes, you know, people who bought near the top start selling at a loss. And when those coins move on chain, they get revalued at new lower prices as they get moved, right? So the realized cap uh, actually decreases during capitulation events because, you know, those coins that were valued at $60,000 are now being moved and sold at $20,000, $15,000, right? So that process of coins being revalued downward is what creates, you know, this, this drawdown on the realized cap. So historically, when you see the realized cap hit around that 14 to, to, to 23% uh, drawdown, that can typically correspond to market cycle bottoms, right, for Bitcoin. And so you can see that in all prior times and all prior cycles. Those are your deep capitulation zones where weak hands are basically selling to stronger hands at massive losses. And more more conviction holders are, are stepping in and buying those those drawdowns, right? And that that's what ultimately leads to this phase where you're sort of going back into profitability as the realized cap drawdowns start to decrease, right? As we start to go into that bull market year, right? So where are we right now? We're we're currently sitting at around a negative 0.28% drawdown in the realized cap. We're essentially still at all-time highs for the realized cap. The all-time high was around 1.13 trillion. So we're not yet in extreme territories, extreme conditions like we've seen in prior bear market bottoms. So it does tell us that coins are still being moved at relatively higher prices. People who bought near the recent $90,000 to $126,000, the all-time high, are still mostly holding. We haven't seen major capitulation yet when looking at it from this perspective obviously if you compare it to other metrics like the short-term holder realized losses or short-term holder mvrv those are showing major capitulations but if we're just looking at an overall sense the overall market not just short-term holders right we still haven't yet seen major drawdowns like we've seen in the past so back in 2021 when bitcoin topped at sixty nine thousand dollars, the realized cap was at around 450 billion and so by the time we bottomed in late 2022 the realized cap had dropped to about 380 billion right so in 2017 bitcoin topped at around twenty thousand dollars with a realized cap of around 76 billion and then by the time we hit three thousand dollars in in 2018 the realized cap was around 77 to 70 to 80 billion dollars. And so if we're going to see a real bear market here, then one uh one that retests, you know, the the realized cap or the realized price essentially going below the realized price there, then you know, you would expect to see the realized cap drawdown go into that 10 to 20% uh drawdown zone. And so we are currently at around negative 0.28% so we're nowhere near that zone yet. I personally think that we will see some metrics really start to flash at around fifty-five to sixty thousand dollars. We might not even go below the realized price, but there's always a possibility that it could happen. I'm definitely staying open-minded to that, but you know, predicating your entire investment thesis on this one idea is probably not a good thing to do. Uh, you know, there's always a chance that Bitcoin doesn't break below the realized price, but I think as as bitcoin goes on and, and through these next couple of months then i think that'll really be clear whether or not it will be going down into those those lower levels and retesting those lower levels so let's talk about the realized price specifically now i think a lot of people want to know whether or not bitcoin's going to continue to go down or or maybe have a retrace back to a, or a pump back up to you know the the uh the 100k level that i've been talking about i think even if you do see a pump back up to $100,000, I think ultimately it will result in a lower high. Um, the realized price has acted as historically strong demand and strong support zones during bear markets. In 2018, Bitcoin briefly dipped below the realized price for a few weeks. 
and that was basically peak capitulation events for for a lot of holders back then within a few months we were we were back above it right so in this little pocket of time where bitcoin spends below the realized price has historically been a very very good time to accumulate bitcoin in 2020 uh during the pandemic we also saw uh price briefly dip below the realized price right we saw that in 2022 in 2015 and in 2011 and all prior uh bear market bottoms for bitcoin and so right now the realized price is at fifty six thousand dollars three hundred i think it's definitely possible over the next five to ten months for bitcoin to retest those lower levels sixty thousand dollars fifty six thousand dollars i think if you're going to see a true bear market bottom that mirrors 2018 or 2022 we would expect bitcoin to at least approach the realized price if not briefly dip below it that would co coincide with a realized cap drawdown of probably negative 10 to negative 15 percent which would match you know the historical bear market bottoms that we've seen so what does it all mean for you know where we're headed for bitcoin right now the the realized cap is is still sitting at around 1.12 trillion it's pretty high right now and so the drawdown is basically zero but you can start to see uh you know the realized cap realized cap is starting to slow down here like the momentum the rate of change for the realized cap is starting to sort of sort of remain constant a bit here i think you would you could you could start to see a more decisive move to the downside to come like we've seen in prior midterm years for bitcoin you know that suggests that most holders especially newer holders who came in during this bull market are still holding a lot of their coins we haven't yet seen major capitulation events uh you know for, for across all market cohorts uh market participants right we've only seen it mostly in short-term buyers so if bitcoin does start to drop you know towards seventy thousand dollars sixty thousand dollars you'll start to see more newer buyers panic and start to sell at a loss and then you'll likely start to see long-term holders also sell at a loss which we've seen to happen in the past as well and when that happens the realized cap will eventually start declining here and you know those coins that were valued at hundred thousand dollars when they last moved will now potentially be moving at much lower prices so and that's when you'll start to see this metric sort of come down here if we do get you know negative 10 percent negative 15 percent drawdowns on the realized cap combined with bitcoin testing the realized price at around sixty thousand dollars that's when you know you'd start to see real accumulation opportunities historically speaking right that would be a great signal uh you know to accumulate more bitcoin in my opinion but we're not there yet but this framework is definitely something i'm keeping an eye out uh you know over the next few weeks i'll i'll make some more videos on these and and i'm also gonna touch on a, a couple of other topics such as ethereum uh, in the next couple of videos there is an interesting metric here that i want to go over in a couple of days here which is the ethereum versus bitcoin mvrv which is basically comparing the bitcoin realized cap versus the ethereum price uh percent also how much uh the, that divergence is between those two right so i'll go over that in, a, in, a, in another video so thank you guys for watching you can track all three of these metrics on chartinspect.com if you guys like the content feel free to subscribe like and comment down below i'll see you in the next one bye